What's an example of one of those nightmare days? I did this part in Shutter Island, this Scorsese movie, yeah. where I had to go mad. I had had to kill three children and then have this Ophelia-esque mad scene. But it was my first day on set, of course, and it was like Leonardo DiCaprio and Sir Ben Kingsley and Martin Scorsese. I was just like, this is insane. I mean, this is just like, shoot me now. I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't know how, how can I do this? And I remember wandering around my trailer, waiting to go on and just thinking, this is just horrible. Please don't make me do this. Um, but then you walk onto the set and you just have to do it. There's no getting away from it. Like you just have to. And, and in a way, yeah, that was one of those moments where it was just like, okay, it, it literally did feel like that, jumping off the side of a cliff. It was like, hold your nose and close your eyes and just do it and just do it. And, and I did a film called Trans-Siberian with Woody Harrelson yeah. um, years ago. But he said to me on that job, he said, you're the, got it so strange. You're, he said, you're, you're so scared and yet you're so brave at the same time. He said, you're the scaredest brave person I've ever met. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a naturally very shy person. It may not seem that way, and, uh, um, but I, I was very, very shy as a child, really cripplingly shy so that I couldn't sort of hold my hand up in class without blushing. Really? And I think I learned early on as a way of combating shyness that I had to kind of do the opposite. I had to really like go on stage and like, take off all my clothes or whatever in order to, I, that was the only way I could kind of deal with it. Like I couldn't just be a little bit less shy. I had to, in order to really kind of deal with the situation of how shy I was, I had to just be, do the, the most, um, the kind of the bravest thing in front of the most people um, to sort of, um, overcome that feeling. And you had to go mad in front of Marty Scorsese. I had to go mad in front of Marty Scorsese. It's the only way to cure the shyness. Exactly. I remember having the same feeling I was on, when I was at school and we were, I did this debate for the English speaking union when I was about my son's age, I was about 15. But I can remember walking up to the podium to, to deliver this speech and thinking, I can't do this, I can't do this, I want my mom to take me home again, like, this is just horrible, why am I doing this, why am I, and, like, almost seeing my heart beating in my chest, and then standing up there, and then just something happening where just the act of forcing yourself to do it, you're sort of protected or something, because you've been so crazily, <laughs> insanely brave, it's almost like, it's almost like this hand reaches out to take yours and just goes, come on, you're going to be all right, and you, and you, and you have no choice but to hold it and go, and um, I don't know, it's like jumping out of an airplane or something, that everything in your body is telling you not to, and that you shouldn't, and that it's an insane thing to do, and that it would be much safer not to, but the minute, and, and you're like that, you're like that, you're like that, but then the minute you jump, there's no going back and there's something kind of, there's an incredible freedom about that feeling of sort of no going back and it's just me now and I have to do this and there's no choice and I can't back out of it. And, um, and then I think something kind of sometimes quite magical happens because you're just like free falling. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera and if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>